mean, basically, when you get down to it, the United Kingdom is a client state of the U.S. How it's so willing to do the U.S. government's bidding when it comes to laundering U.S. intelligence, pushing U.S. propaganda, uh, putting um, its stamp of approval on U.S. military actions, being there. I mean, this goes all the way back to Iraq, right? Like Bush is going to invade Iraq and he goes and he gets Tony Blair in order to invade Iraq and have somebody who can be on the U.S.'s side while our, our special state. relationship, right? Yeah, this is our special relationship. And so this thing, what has become apparent to me is that the reason why the UK is not going to stop the extradition of Assange is because it is a priority to serve the United States, to maintain diplomatic relations, to have a good relationship with the US. Uh, and so this high court of justice ends up ruling in favor of the US and in it, it actually mentions uh, that there's no reason to doubt these new assurances that have been offered all of a sudden by the U.S. government that they are going to treat Julian fairly. It's not evidence. I mean, there's this really like bizarre absurdity to this where it's like you can't even contest these assurances because the court refuses to recognize them as evidence. And in fact, they're after the fact. So there's no point where Julian Assange's team can even call witnesses and show how they're total bullshit. No matter the fact that civil liberties organizations and human rights organizations have come to his defense, uh, regardless of the fact that uh, there are actually editors of these newspapers who put out statements. I mean, despite the fact that they're saying they oppose this prosecution, you're still not seeing any movement politically and nobody within the Biden administration feels moved to change the way that they are approaching Right. this case. So the reason why I don't think they would is because of that thing called Russiagate that we lived through for three or four years. And it served two purposes. It was Russia did it via WikiLeaks. Well, now we can go after Russia and Julian Assange and Trump all as one big package deal of, oh my God, it was the Russians. Now's the moment when we need to convince our politicians not to let this go forward. And I can't think of a worse time to try and convince them we're in a worse spot because of the war in Ukraine than we were uh, before. People might have seen the beautiful and wonderful images of Stella Morris in her wedding dress um, and Julian Assange's children in kilts. Uh, they looked excellent. Uh, the wedding party looked um, as good as any wedding party. And uh, they had the wedding in Belmarsh prison. Uh, Craig Murray, was supposed to be a witness for uh, this uh, wedding, supposed to be able to attend and be part of the wedding party. And, and Craig Murray is a former uh, British politician. Yeah, but he has had his problems with British authorities, and they said he could not be a witness because it would be a security threat if there was a photo taken of Julian Assange and uh, Stella that ended up appearing in the media. Uh, so they could not allow a journalist to be part of the wedding party. So this shows you the fragility of what they're doing to Julian Assange. I mean, we can be cynical. We can believe that there isn't any hope for Julian Assange. But with this wedding, we saw that there is actually a way that we can reach and, and get to them and force them to back down. Because they were afraid that if people saw an image of Julian Assange marrying Stella Morris in prison, that it would be so outrageous and say so much about how inhumane and cruel they have been to Julian that they made certain that nobody snapped a photo. And the fact that they were afraid of a photo just shows that there are still ways that we can win and free Julian Assange. And I think that's a good point to leave you.